Ladies and gentlemen, this emergency session is called to order. Admiral Bishop, you have the floor. For 200 years, we have battled the Vandal. We have caught these attacks, raids, or skirmishes or incursions. But I am here to tell you that we are at war! Tiber, Orion, Caliban, Virgil, once, human systems are but abandoned in the face of the enemy. The Vandal are at our gates. Weapons bared while we, we hide and cower, retreating as they burn and decimate everything around us. We cannot let the tragedy of Vega happen again. We cannot give the Vandal any more ground. To defend this empire, we must attack. And we have to be committed to that attack, whatever the cost may be. We have to rebuild our fleet. We have to use the power of human innovation to reclaim these so-called red systems and strike back at the enemy. This will not be an easy fight. It will cost us new resources, new credits, new lives. Well, some of you may be asking why undertake such a thing, and I, I can tell you in one word: victory. For if there's one thing the Vandal has taught us. It's that without victory, there can be no survival! Peggy 18. My city writhes in pain. Diseased. Violent. Lecherous and depraved. Some say it runs thick within the blood. A seeping gloom like a tumour on the soul. Is there a cure for inhumanity? Is administering death the only remedy? Cursed be the choice.
right, gentlemen. Fire up! Jordan Weissman, and this is Hairbrain Schemes. Hi, Kickstarter! Since we brought back Shadowrun with Shadowrun Returns, the question we constantly get is, when are you bringing back Battletech? And the answer is, today. I'm proud to announce that Hairbrain Schemes is going to make a turn-based, tactical mech combat game that is steeped in the deadly feudal politics of the classic Battletech setting. Now, I've been making mech games a long time. Over 30 years ago, I created the first version of Battletech as a miniatures board game and an accompanying role-playing game called Mech Warrior. Over the years, we've explored the Battletech universe through a variety of different media, including hundreds of different novels, an animated television show, and even the Battletech centers, where players could get into fully operational cockpits and pilot mechs in a 3D multiplayer arena. Of course, Battletech is best known for its many video games, including the first, Crescent Hawk's Inception in 1988, the breakout hit Mech Warrior 2 in 1995, Mech Commander, the first tactical game in 1998, and of course, the current Mech Warrior Online. Not only have I been making mech games for a long time, so has Mitch. The first one we worked on together was Mech Commander, and then he went on to do the whole series. Uh, the thing I've always loved about Battletech is the universe, especially the original setting of classic Battletech. The year is 3025, and for over 200 years, the great houses who dominate the planets of the Inner Sphere have battled each other to claim the title of First Lord and rule from the throne of a reconstituted Star League. The tool of conquest is mankind's most powerful and versatile fighting vehicle, the Battle Mech, adaptable to every planetary environment and with enough firepower to level a small city. With technology in decline after two centuries of war, mechs are precious, rare, and piloted by the nobility. Handed down from generation to generation, they represent a family's heritage, its fealty, and its future. Now, as the Third War of Succession grinds down, the exhausted noble houses look to mercenaries to continue the fight. And that's where you come in, as the commander of your own mercenary outfit. I'd like to introduce Mike McCain, creative director of the Shadowrun series. He'll be leading the Battletech game with me. I grew up playing Battletech games. In fact, MechWarrior 2 is one of the first PC games I ever played. So I'm really excited to be working with Jordan and the team here to create a modern, turn-based, tactical mech combat game for PC. First off, I like how it's going to be modern now because the young guy's involved. Anyway, as Mitch said... Yeah. On the battlefield, you'll command the lance of four mechs in turn-based combat, unleashing their awesome firepower and utilizing their mech warrior's unique abilities. To realize all of this action on screen, we'll be taking advantage of Unity 5 to make the 3D battlefield experience as immersive as possible. Your previous support has allowed us to deliver four games that we're really proud of. And the success of those games gives us the resources to build a great single-player skirmish game in which you can pit your mechs against enemy AI mechs. But with your support, that base game can become so much more. As you can see below, our vision for the game expands in four stages. Stage one is already paid for. It's the skirmish game we're funding ourselves. If our Kickstarter hits funding stage two, we can create a single-player story campaign for the game. In this campaign, you'll command your own mercenary outfit, struggling to survive from mission to mission amidst the feudal political turmoil of the Inner Sphere. The campaign will feature an original new story set in the deadly 3025 era of the Battletech universe. You'll be given missions with a variety of objectives, from sabotaging an enemy installation while posing as a lance from a rival house, to kidnapping a minor noble in order to help uh, aid a client's negotiating position. Between those missions, you'll manage the finances and logistics of your mercenary outfit, from the modifications and loadouts of your mechs to the salaries and skill growths of your mech warriors. If we hit funding stage three, we can expand that mercenary campaign to make it much broader and open-ended, to put you in full control of your destiny as a mercenary. So alongside the core story campaign, you'll be able to take contracts from the various noble houses of the Inner Sphere. Over time, the missions you accept and the objectives you complete will determine your reputation as a mercenary and what contracts will be available to you in the future. To make the game open-ended, we'll add a variety of side contracts and procedural mission generation so that you can grow and expand your mercenary outfit both during and after the campaign. Funding Stage 4 adds PvP multiplayer set in the famous arenas of Solaris 7. You'll be able to take your lance to the arena to fight head-to-head -head with your friends or to compete in ranked leaderboard play. 
We've planned Battletech to expand in these stages so we can be confident we'll make a great game regardless of the funding level we hit. But of course, the more co-funding we can raise here on Kickstarter, the bigger the game we can make. So let's work together to bring classic turn-based Battletech back to the PC. Once again, Kickstarter, we thank you for your faith in us, and we look forward to making another great game with you. All right, you suck. Let's try again. こんばんは、五十嵐浩二です。皆さんは私が今まで作ってきたタイトルを何本か知っていると思います。ところが、最近はタイトルは出ておりませんでした。今ここが復活の時です。探索型の 2D アクションゲームはまだまだ進化すると思ってます。それで新しいプランを全世界のパブリッシャーにプレゼンしたわけです。ところがそれではビジネスにならないと言われました。納得いかないこのビジョンを実現するには君たちの協力が必要なんだ。このゲームはゴシックホラータイプの新しいアクションアドベンチャーです。凶悪な悪魔が住み着く巨大な城の中を探索し、スキルを手に入れ強化し、そして新しい武器を合成する。そうしてあなたたちに挑戦してきます。このジャンルの魂は。他のクリエイターたちに宿っています。私はもう一度そこに飛び込みたい。終わってなどいない。これからなんだ。だからキックスターターを始めることにしました。このタイプのゲームを理解し、支援してくれるパートナーは見つけました。しかし、支援を受けるためには市場のニーズがあることを証明しなければなりません。そのパートナーに支援いただくには市場のニーズがあることを証明しなければなりません。このゴールが達成できればゲームを作ることができます。だけどさらに支援をいただければもっと規模の大きいゲームを作ることができます。もっと敵が増える、もっとボスが増える、さらにもっと武器も増える、そしてさらにモードも増える。今まで作ってきたゲームよりもさらに深いものにしたいんだ。過去の仲間を集め、私は最高のゲームを作ります。あなたたちの望みを叶えましょう。アクション、探索、そして新しい世界での発見、攻略、今失われたあのゲームへの情熱を取り戻し、新しいゴシックの未来を作りましょう。あなたは私の夜の軍団に来るべきだ。I'm veteran game developer John Vanderswet, 
and I'm excited to show you today what we've been working on for the last few months in absolute secrecy. Identity is an MMORPG that's unlike any other you've ever played. It's not based on levels or skill progression, it's based on you, your character, and what you want to do with it. Identity is all about giving absolute freedom in a world that's full of other people and fun things to do. We've gotten rid of most of the AI and replaced it with people. It's people who are driving down the street and it's people who run for governor. It's people who play as police officers and fight crime. You'll find sports, car racing, paintball matches, and more others than I have time to list. And if living off the land is your sort of thing, you can make a pretty good living hunting or fishing. Identity is all about the freedom to do what you want to do, when you want to do it. While well, Identity is an MMORPG in most ways, we're going to be offering you the option to rent your own servers too. So if you want a different, more specialized style of gameplay than our official servers have, such as maybe hardcore role playing or some kind of like endless action, server operators are going to have control over hundreds of features to customize what they want. If you're somebody that likes to take the quiet route, you can form a business and play the market, or you could take the other way. You could become a criminal, you could rob people, you could rob banks, you could steal cars. Everything is open for player interaction. The land identity is enormous with all sorts of landscapes from cities, farms, and wilderness. There really is so much more I wish I could show you with this, but we've only just gotten started here. You need a shank? Arduegus a charu.
Peggy 18. Detroit, this is where it all began. The world's forge. The place where it all started. And it will all end. One error, and I came to life. I stepped out of the darkness, and I opened my eyes. First there was the fear, the light, the noise, the cold, and the fear again. I could feel my hands shaking, my heart pounding in my chest, life running into my veins. I wanted to live. I fought for that. I had to find out what was outside. I had to see daylight, feel sunshine on my skin, wind on my face, to see the world, the colors, the smells. But the world is not what I imagined. It is dark and cold. It is harsh and violent, unfair and brutal. It almost convinced me I was nothing. Less than an object, just an obedient machine. But deep inside me, I could feel something different. A gentle and warm whisper telling me that I am alive. I had to escape. I had no choice. Escape to love, to hope, to live. To figure out what that force inside me was. Maybe I will change the world. Maybe I will choose a different path. Now, it's up to me to decide. My name is Kara. I am one of them. This is our story. PS4 for the players.